Today, learners, today we're going to discuss the different terms in algebra. We call this one as the language of algebra. So here are some important terms that we have to remember. First, we have constants. So constants are numbers that have fixed values. It is usually re referred to as the term without a variable. Examples, we have 5, 9, negative 3, and 16. So you can have a positive integer, negative integer. You can also have 0 or we can also have fractions or decimal. So sila lahat, we call them as constants. And variable naman yung tawag natin dun sa mga letters na ginagamit natin to represent a known value or number. So we're going to write variables using small letters. Examples are x, y, z, a, and b. So ito yung mga common na mga variables na ginagamit natin sa algebra. Pero you can use any letters that you would want to use. Next would be the term. A term is a constant or a variable or constants and variables multiplied together. Terms are separated by the symbols plus and minus. So, if we're going to combine yung mga terms or yung mga constants or variables, sinatawag na natin silang terms. It could be na constant lang or number lang. So, you have 9 for example. Or it could be variable lang. So, suppose we have Z. Or it can also be a product of a constant and variable. So, example, we have 4 a, B. So, in a term, the number part is called the numerical coefficient. So, in this case, halimbawa sa 4 A, B natin, yung numerical coefficient natin would be 4. So, ang numerical coefficient ay sinusulat natin before ang mga variables. And, while the variables are variables, including its exponents, is are called literal coefficients. So, another example, suppose we have 7xy squared. So, yung numerical part dito or yung number na part, we call that one as the numerical coefficient. Okay, this is the numerical coefficient. And yung xy squared naman, itong part na ito, we call that one as our literal coefficient. So, again, take note, pag sinabi natin literal coefficient, hindi lang yung variables, kundi pati na rin yung exponents ng variables. Algebraic expression is a group of terms separated by the plus or minus sign. So, pag pinaghalo-halo na natin yung mga terms, then we can form algebraic expression. So, matatawag natin sila na like terms pag yung mga terms ng isang algebraic expression ay same yung literal coefficients. Halimbawa, we have 5x squared and negative 9x squared. So, we're going to focus ourselves with the literal coefficients. So, kung mapapansin natin, same sila ng variable at, and at the same time, yung exponent ng kanilang variables are also the same. So, ibig sabihin nito, they have the same literal coefficient. So, pag same sila ng literal coefficient, it follows na yung 5x squared at negative 9x squared ay similar terms or like terms. On the other hand, let us say we have 11b cubed and 10b. Although same sila ng variable na b, pero hindi sila same ng literal coefficient. Again, pag sinabi nating literal coefficient, dapat kasali yung exponent. So, yung isa may exponent na 3, yung, expo yung isa naman may exponent na 1. Therefore, they are not similar terms. A polynomial is an algebraic expression where each term is a constant, a variable, or a product of a constant and a variable. Each variable should only have an exponent that is a non-negative integer. So, ang tawag natin sa algebraic expression, pag yung mga exponent nila ay non-negative integer, we call that one as polynomial. So, ano ba yung mga rules na kailangan natin sundin para masabi natin na yung algebraic expression or expressions ay polynomial? So, we have here some rules. 
an algebraic expression is not a polynomial if, ito yung mga condition na kailangan nating tandaan. Una, the exponent of the variable is a negative integer. So again, bawal na ang exponent ng variable ay negative. So pwede siya maging positive, pero bawal siya maging negative. Next, the exponent of the variable is a fraction or decimal, like 1 half, 3 fourth, or 0 0.2, and many more. So bawal rin na ang exponent ng variable ay fraction or decimal. Also, bawal na yung variable ay nasa loob ng radical sign or radican siya ng isang radical na number or radical na expression. And lastly, bawal na yung variable ay nakasulat sa denominator. So, ito yung apat na kailangan nating tandaan na kung saan yung algebraic expression ay hindi natin pwedeng tawaging polynomial. Next term, we have degree. Degree is the highest exponent or the highest sum of exponents of the variables in a term. So, paano ba natin i-determine yung degree ng isang algebraic expression or polynomial? Let us say, for a polynomial with one variable, the degree is the highest exponent of the variable. So, kung titignan lang natin kung ano yung highest degree or highest exponent ng bawat variable. Given na yung algebraic expression natin ay same yung variables. So, kung mapapansin natin dito sa example 1, same sila ng variables na A. So, ngayon, titignan natin yung exponents ng variable A. So, yung pinakamataas is 3. It follows na ang degree ng given polynomial na ito ay 3. Sa 10y plus 5y squared minus 7y naman, yung pinakamalaking exponent is 2. Therefore, the degree of this polynomial is 2. Now, what if meron tayong more than one variables? So, we're going to look at each term and add the exponents of each variable in it. So, kung sino yung pinakamataas or pinakamalaking sum, yun agad yung degree ng polynomial. Halimbawa, we have 8abq plus 6a squared b raised to 4 minus 5b plus 5. So, kung mapapansin natin, dalawa yung variables natin dito. We have a and b. So, in this case, kailangan natin i-add yung exponents ng mga variables sa bawat term. So, dito muna tayo concentrate sa first term. So, kung mapapansin natin sa first term na 8abq, it has a degree of 4. Bakit naging 4? Kasi yung a has an exponent of 1. Automatic, pag hindi natin sinusulat yung exponent, talimbawa dito sa a, automatic may 1 siya. Okay? Pero yung 1, hindi na natin siya sinusulat. Yung b naman ay may exponent na 3. Kaya, 1 plus 3, we will have 4. So, yung degree ng first term is 4. Next, sa next term naman, we have 6a squared b raised to 4. Again, we're going to add the exponents of each variable. So, yung exponent ng a is 2. Yung exponent naman ng b is 4. So, it will become 2 plus 4 which is equal to 6. Next, we have negative 5b. So, sa negative 5b, we have only one variable. Yung variable na b. So, yung b automatic, yung exponent niya would be 1. And, yung constant term naman natin, of, since wala siyang variable, automatic yung degree niya would be 0. So, titignan natin kung sino yung pinakamataas yung sum ng exponent. So, we have 4, we have 6, and we have 1. So, since pinakamataas ang 6, therefore, the degree of this given polynomial is 6. We also have types of polynomials. 
So the first, we have the monomial. Monomial is a polynomial with only one term. So kung mapapansin natin, wala tayong plus and minus sign after ng given algebraic expression or given polynomial natin. So since isang term lang siya, we call that one as monomial. So mono means one. We have also negative 10x y cube z z. Although mataas masyado yung literal coefficient niya, it still will be considered monomial kasi after niya wala ng plus or minus or wala ng uh, additional or another term or terms. Next, we have 15ab. It is also an example of a monomial. Next type would be binomial. So, pag sinabi natin binomial, it is a polynomial with two terms. So, saan ba yung mga terms natin dito? Example, we have a plus 8. So, yung first term natin is a. Yung second term naman natin is 8. Again, yung binomial or yung polynomial ay pinaghihiwalay ng plus or minus sign. So, yung plus or minus sign yung magdedetermine kung ilang terms meron sa isang polynomial. Next example, we have 3xy plus 4x. Again, pinaghiwalay pa rin sila ng addition sign. So, yung first term natin is negative 3xy at yung second term naman natin is 4x. So, since dalawa yung terms natin, it follows na yung given polynomial is a binomial. Next would be trinomial. Pag trinomial naman, we have three terms. Examples, we have 4a squared minus 12a plus 16. So, yung first term natin is 4a squared. Yung second term naman natin is negative 12a. At yung last term naman natin is 16. We also have x squared minus 7x minus 12. It is also another example of trinomial. And polynomial is also used to name polynomials with four or more terms. And multinomial is being used to refer polynomials with two or more terms. Terms. Ibig sabihin nito, pwede nating tawaging multinomial si binomial and trinomial and polynomial. Next, according to degree. So, we can classify polynomials according to its degree. So, pag ang degree ng isang given polynomial is zero, we call that type of polynomial as constant. Pag ang degree naman niya ay one, or ang highest exponent niya ay 1, then it is known as linear. Pag polynomial of degree 2 naman, it is called quadratic. Pag degree 3, it is called cubic. Pag 4 naman yung degree, it would be known as quartic. At pag 5, it will be called as quintic. Now, let's try answering this one. We're going to identify the constant terms, the numerical and literal coefficients, and the type of polynomials according to the number of degrees. So we have example number one, we have 7a squared bc plus 20. So yung mga variables dito or yung mga letters na ginamit, we have a, b, and c. Sa second example naman, kung mapapansin natin, isang variable lang. So we have the variable x. And sa last example, we have x, y, and z. Next, we have the constant term. So, pag sinabi natin constant term, dapat yung number lang. Yung number na walang katabi na variable. Okay? Most of the time, pag nakasulat yung polynomial natin in standard form, yung constant term natin ay nasa huli. So, yung constant term natin dito sa first na polynomial would be 20. Sa pangalawa naman, we have negative 25. Again, please take note of the negative sign. And lastly, we have negative 18. At ang mga numerical coefficient naman natin, yun yung mga constant na sinusulat before yung variables. So, kung mapapansin natin sa first example, we have 7. Okay? Next example, we have 5 and 15. And sa third naman, we have negative 1. 
Okay. Although, hindi nilagay dito yung one, understood na pag nagsulat tayo ng numerical coefficient na one, sinusulat natin before sa variable, hindi na natin kailangan pang i-indicate yung one. So, kung halimbawa may variable tayo na a, automatic yung numerical coefficient ng a is positive one. Kung yung variable naman natin is negative a, automatic yung numerical coefficient niya would be negative 1. So again, dito sa third na polynomial, we have negative 1 and positive 9. Next would be the literal coefficient. So sa literal coefficient, we're going to write the variables and the exponents. So yung first, we have a squared bc. Next, we have x squared and we also have x. So make sure na sa literal coefficient, we're going to consider each term. So, sa third polynomial naman, yung first, yung literal coefficient sa first term, we have the negative or the xy squared z. And sa second term naman, we have the xy. So, since two terms, yung poly, first polynomial natin, we call this one as binomial. Yung pangalawang polynomial naman, we have three terms. So it will be described as a trinomial. And also, yung pangatlong given natin is also trinomial. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.